Hi, I'm Allison Pilling and I'm the host of Death Cafe Quinty. These are my highlights, my personal takeaways from the August 2024 event. First off, I just want to say thank you to Bistro 116 for hosting us there. And it felt like I was getting together with like longtime friends at this event. It was very warm, welcoming, and very comfortable. So a couple of the topics that came up that really stuck with me after the event is or are the relationship between birth and death and that there could be this idea of you know lo love passing through different realms or here on earth however you want to picture that and also the anticipation that is associated with each of those events uh, another topic that sort of stuck with me is just a conversation around feeling as though death or reminders of death are kind of everywhere right now. And they're feeling very present in our everyday lives. Another topic that we kind of talked around was, you know, how it can be different to see and do different if it's never been modeled for you. So how it can be a little bit tricky, I guess, <laughs> to see the different options out there, see what else is available to us if we've never seen it or done it ourselves or you know, seen someone model it for us. And the last thing that kind of stuck with me is how different forms of death may require different forms of grieving and just allowing us and the people around us that space and time and the various supports um, depending on the death that's occurred. Okay, so those were sort of the conversation topics that stuck with me after the August 2024 event. Again, I just want to say thank you to everyone that participated and the Smoking 116 Bistro for hosting us. September 18th is the next event. That's a Wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m. And this time we're online. And yeah, it's our fourth anniversary, four years. <laughs> this has been going on. So yeah, if you want to join Death Cafe Quinty, just send a message and with your email and name and I'll send you the event notifications. Okay. Have a great day.